All right, friends, it might just be the most adorable cooking competition around Master Chef Junior Home for the Holidays and the show judge Daphne Oz joining us this morning. Daphne, good morning. Like this has to be the best job in the world. It is a pretty incredible job, I have to say. It's always good fun. It's always leaves you with a great taste in your mouth, no pun intended, and feeling like you're learning something, you're having fun, you're getting very inspired. If you have kids or if you don't, you're going to be wanting to learn from what these young home chefs can do. It's pretty It's pretty special. I should first say, uh, Daphne, good morning and welcome to San Diego. I follow you a lot on, on social. I love all that you do in the kitchen and I love it when you're with the kids. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's always a little bit messier and a little bit slower when I have them with me, but it's always so much fun. I was talking to someone this morning about how much your kids learn from being alongside, you know, you in the kitchen and, and, and doing anything that you love. Like they're really paying attention and they're really absorbing that information. And it's just it's very inspiring for me to get to be a judge on MasterChef Junior because it just goes to show what kids are capable of. I mean, these are eight to 12 year olds. Oh. And so I definitely come home with renewed vigor for showing my kids a thing or two about yeah. how to feel that confidence in the kitchen. I don't know if I could ever do this. Like kids are just so awesome and amazing. How do you judge a kid? Like they're all awesome. You know, I, I have to say, I really, you know, I, I learned a lot from watching Gordon and Arone, who've obviously hosted the show for a very long time how they speak to our contestants, because I come to it first and foremost as a mom. Mm. I, you know, how would I want a, an adult speaking to my kids about things that they're passionate about, that they're still learning, obviously, they're kids, um, but that they're, that they're eager to excel at. And one of the things that I have always deeply respected and think is really powerful, and I think it's why every single kid leaving the show has such a positive experience, um, they, we talk to them with, with integrity, right? Like we mm. share, if, you, if this went wrong, Here's why, but here's the steps you can take to get it right next time. There's so much growth. There's always the productive messaging of like, we understand why it went wrong. We've been there. Like literally every mistake that could be made in the kitchen, we have made it. So here's what we now know, what we can share with you so that the next time you come back and, and do it even better. And they feel so respected in that and feel so like they, they're really handed over the reins to do their best. And I have to say, it, it has taught me a lot about talking to my kids about things that are challenging for them, um, which is an unanticipated benefit of being on such a delicious stage. <laughs> yes, and they learn, you know, like just like you said, it's like those mistakes and the challenges. And then before you know it, you blink. And then these are like the next chefs of the generation. I know, I know. I love it. I love it. For the holidays, do you do anything special with your kids? You bake or do you like order out? What do you do? Um, no, I am cooking. So I have an enormous family. We have like 40 immediate family members. My mom's the oldest of six. I'm the oldest of four. I've got four of my own. So we just have tons. I know. Look at your face. That's my well, face. It sounds, it sounds like my house. It sounds like exactly like my house. I get it. I get it, girl. <laughs> Good. I feel my, my people here. It is just, but look, like I wouldn't have it any other way. That is to me what the holidays yes. are all about. And it's why this MasterChef Junior Home for the Holiday Special is so cool because yes, those, those like really formative and solid memories around the holidays are what's on the plate. It yeah. is those meals that you really only get to have around that time. So for us, one, one dish that pops to mind is my grandfather's stuffed artichokes. Mm. He grew up in Staten Island. This is a recipe that is a cherished family heirloom. Um, and it's these giant globe artichokes artichokes stuffed with breadcrumbs and garlic and pecorino and Parmesan cheese doused with olive oil and broth. The trick is to mince up the steamed stem of the artichoke into the blend that you're okay. stuffing the artichoke with because it just makes it that much juicier. And when these things come wafting out of the oven, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. It um, unbelievable. Yeah, there's everyone there. Sounds and we make like 50 batches of Christmas. Daphne, please <laughs> promise me that you take the video of that, post it, because I'm going to be looking for it. I'll be like Daphne's artichoke, the grandfather's artichoke. It's so good to see you here in San Diego. Thank you very much. Happy holidays.